Hello everyone, it's Sheila back with a tutorial. I'm going to show how to knit a baby blanket but before I start showing you any of this I'm going to stop this video for a few seconds and add a little bit to show one I did earlier. Um, these are for twins that I'm doing. Um, so I've done a blue, already done a, a one in blue and white and this is pink and white but I'm going to show you how it actually looks when it's finished. So this is the um the blue one that um I had done earlier. Now see how it looks when it's finished. You fold it up there. That's quite a good size for a um a baby for a new baby. So it's blue for the boy and pink for the girl. So that's how the blanket will look and it's going to be um, 30 inches by 28 inches and I am using 8 millimetre 8 millimetre needles. Um, this is a, a circular needle but I am actually using two circular needles because I prefer to knit. Yeah. I don't like the... Um, the knitting going round in a circle with the cables getting in my way. So I'm using two eight millimeter, two eight millimeter needles to uh, knit this. And I'm going to show you the wool. Um, the pink is this one here. It's King Cole Baby Big Value Double Knit, and it is bright pink. And the white is Woolcraft Baby Care. It's just plain white. Doesn't say any, any colour, it's just ordinary white. So that's the two yarns I'm using. And the one I knit in the blue and white, it took exactly, to, when I weighed it, it was 288 grams. So that's just less than three balls, so, but you would still need four balls because you need two of each. Yeah, so I'm going to start off. I have cast on 92 stitches. That's what I've cast on for the, um, the pattern. And I have knit six rows. There's a cast on row and then I knit six rows after that of... Um, garter stitch and I'm sure everyone knows what garter stitch is but if you don't it's just every stitch knit and every row knit and now I'm going to start the um the pattern so I'll have to find where I'm starting here and so I'm going to do the first four stitches are knit so one two three four so that is going to be the um the border on the side and there's going to be four stitches knit at the end as well and the pattern itself is going to be a basket stitch and i want a basket stitch so it's reversible it's the same on either side so i'm going to start off with purl two and knit two to the end of the row and then I'll be knitting four stitches at the end of the row. And every row will start with, for three rows, it'll start with purl two, knit two. And then after those three rows, you'll start with knit two, purl two. But I'll show I'm starting it off. So yeah, I've got the wool round myself here. Pull some off. <laughs> so that's knit two. Oh, it's purl two, sorry, knit two. Purl two. Knit two. Purl two. Knit two. Now blow that up a little bit so you can see better.
we go in the two pearl two pearl two knit two pearl two knit two and I will miss you at the end of that row. Now we are now on to the last eight stitches. And I'm going to pull two. And knit two. And you saw at the start of the, um, the pattern we started with pull two. But before the last four stitches, which we're going to knit and garter stitch, um, it's knit two. So that's so that every row you'll start the next row with purl, which was what you started this row with. So the rows, the three rows of the pattern are all the same. So we're going to knit four rows now. One, I mean four stitches in garter stitch. And I always knit into the back of the last stitch. That keeps your edge keeps like a neat a neat edge if you knit into the back of the stitch and so we're going to start on the next row again and the next row is knit four in case you hadn't noticed we are knitting two strands these two strands together that's why there's a just a ball of um pink and a ball of white i think i forgot to mention that at the start so that's or garter stitch and exactly the same as how we started the um the other row pearl two and then knit two pearl two Knit two, and that is how we're going to carry on till we get to the end of the row. And I'll meet you then. And now we're up to the last six stitches, and we're going to finish that row with knit two and knit the last four stitches. Two, three, four, knitting into the back of the last stitch so you can see the the pattern taking shape and I'm going to do one more row the same as the last two rows and then I'll come back and show how to change the pattern So now we are up to the last six stitches and we're going to knit those two. The same as the other two rows and knit the last four stitches. Knitting into the back of the last stitch. And now we're going to start the, the next three rows alternate the knits and the pearls. So we're going to knit the first four stitches for the border. And where we started with purl on the last three rows, we're just going to knit. So we're actually knitting six stitches. And then we're going to purl over the knit stitches. Then knit over the purl and purl over the knit. And we're going to carry on like that until I get to the end of the row. Now on to the last eight stitches. We're going to knit two over the purl stitches and purl over the knit stitches 
then knit the last four stitches. Knit into the back of the last knit stitch. And that is how, how it's going to look. So you're going to do another two rows where you're going to start with um, after the four border stitches it's knit two so it's knit six actually so it's knit two, it's purl over the knit and knit over the purl till you get to the end and it is purl over the knit stitch and knit the last four stitches so you're going to do that for another two rows and then you'll switch back to what you started with we do a purl two after the four border stitches. It's two purl, two knit, two purl. So I will come on every so often and show little bits of what I have um, done after this bit. So this is how the blanket is coming along. I have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen times three. That's thirty-nine rows. And I think I have um, 120 to do all together, so I will be back when I get that far. Well, I am back with the end of this video. I've knitted the, the blanket as large as it needs to be. And if you remember, I'm knitting with two strands, the pink and the, um, the weight of double knitting. If anybody wants to knit this um, in chunky, I had four balls. I had two balls of pink and two balls of white. Um, and that's how much I have left. I'm not sure how much it weighs, but there's probably about um, nearly 100 grams in those two balls. So the blanket's probably taking about 300 grams. Maybe it's a little bit more. Um, if you're using chunky, I don't know how many balls it will take because I have never ever knitted one in chunky. I've always used two balls like this. And I've used, these are 8mm needles I'm using, but I've used 7mm as well. And it's always, it's how much it's always taken. And I find that the using the two strands of double knitting goes a lot further than using one ball of chunky. That's my opinion anyway. So I'm going to show you what I have done the last. I'll take this down a bit so you can see better. Yeah, I've knitted all the, the rows. It now measures 30 inches, the length. And as you know, I knitted with, I started off with six rows. Of got a stitch at the start and then knit the the two by three so it's two two stitches knit two stitches purl by three rows that's why i call it two by three and then i'm up to the the end and i have knitted the six rows at the end and now i'm going to cast off the um the stitches and i will show you how i cast off these because i do not cast off in the um the knit stitch i do a one by one knitted how you knit the rib a one by one rib that's how i cast off the um the stitches because you get a better finish and there's more stretch in it than it is if you knit just plain knit stitches straight across so i have to get this turned around the right way and get enough wool out so <laughs> I don't have to keep stopping in the middle. Put that to one side. Then put my wool over the top of the, the wool there. And I will put that down again. So I'm going to go to knit one, purl one, and then cast off those stitches and just keep knitting and purling across the row, very loosely casting off.
so you don't pull the stitch tight after you've cast off you just leave it and go on to the next one and that makes it loose enough for to have some stretch across the top you have to make sure that you're taking both the, the strands off when you cast off And I'll just show that what I've done there. You can see you have a, a cast off and you have a stretchy. The cast off is stretchy. If you knit it straight away as gorgeous stitch, you won't get that stretch in it. And it could pull the top of the blanket in. So I always prefer to do a knit one, purl one. And that's how I'm going to do to the end of the row. And I will be back when I get that far. So that's the blanket completely finished just have to sew in one or two ends you know where you start and there's one somewhere where I have to join in another ball there I have to weave in those ends and that and uh, as you can see the cast off edge I'll blow it up so you can see that better the cast off edge and there's bit of stretch in it which is what you want it's the same as the the cast on edge has a bit of stretch in it too and both exactly the same size the you know there's no one 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 end if i'd knitted if i'd cast off the um the end it would have pulled it in and the top would have been looked a bit um tighter than the, um, the bottom so that's the blanket finished you can't quite see the whole thing on here I can pull it out nearly as far as it goes but it measures 28 inches by 30 inches and I weighed the blanket and there's exactly 318 grams and the wool that's left over is 82 grams so you actually you need four balls two balls of each um to do this size so if you like that tutorial would like to see more thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you all another time so bye for now